Welcome back to another Oblivion Remastered video. This time I'll be teaching you all how to download and install mods for Oblivion Remastered step by step. Because of Oblivion Remastered using a mix of two engines, modding the game isn't the same as before. However, I am here to help you all. I'll also be updating this guide as soon as mod programs such as Mod Organizer 2 or Vortex becomes 100% compatible with Oblivion Remastered. Anyways, let's start the video. We first need some prerequisites. We're gonna need a program that can read zip files. And if you're already using Windows 11, you should already have one by default. If not, make sure to get a zip program of your choice, such as 7-Zip or WinRAR. Secondly, you'll need a Nexus Mods account to download mods on Nexus. Don't worry, you don't have to pay to have an account. Registering is free for everyone. Alright, now let's learn how to locate the local files of Oblivion Remastered. For Steam users, open up Steam, right-click Oblivion Remastered, under Manage, click on Browse Local Files. A new window should pop out showing three different files, Engine, Oblivion Remastered, and Oblivion Remastered.exe. For Game Pass users, open up Xbox app, right-click Oblivion Remastered, Manage, files, and then browse. Open the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion Remastered folder, and lastly, open content. You'll see exactly 9 files in this folder. Now, everything from here should be the same. Just remember where your locals files are. So now, whenever someone mentions your local files, you know where to find it. Now, how to download mods? All you gotta do is find the mod you want on Nexus. In this example, let's get better HUD. It's always best to read the mod's description page as it usually contains important information. In some cases, some mods requires another mod to work. You can always check a mod's requirements by clicking on the requirements drop down button. So of course, if you see a mod requiring something, make sure to have that installed first before the mod you want. Now click on the files tab and make sure to choose the right file you need. Since I'm using 16x9 monitor, I'll only get the 16x9 file. Since mod managers aren't working with Oblivion Remastered at the moment, make sure to always click the manual download. Alright, how to download and install OBS E64. After downloading OBS E64 on Nexus Mods, you now want to locate your local files. In here, open Oblivion Remastered, Binaries, and then Win64. You should see exactly like the ones on screen right now. Now open your downloaded OBS E64 mod. Drag everything except the SRC folder into the Win64 folder that we just opened. Once that's done, open up Steam, right-click Oblivion Remastered, Properties, then under General, you want to type the game's path location that your OBSC64 Loader EXE is in. To simply do this, just copy the path file of where the OBSC64 Loader EXE is located, and before pasting the path, be sure to type an open quotation mark and then you can paste it. Next, press your backslash key. Then type obsc64 underscore loader dot exe. And then end it with a closed quotation mark. Lastly, hit space once and copy this command code and paste it at the end. And there you have it. Now running Oblivion Remastered on Steam will automatically run the obsc loader application you should be able to see a quick CMD window pop out. You have nothing else to do but wait for your game to open. Let's first understand the different type of mods currently on Nexus. First, we have the .pack files. This type of mods comes with two other files, making three in total. You can usually determine instantly as soon as you open the downloaded zip mod. If a mod contains a .pack, .ucas and .utalk files. All you gotta do to install it is to locate your local files, click on Oblivion Remastered, Content, then inside the Packs folder, place all three files inside here. If ever you want to delete the mod, all you gotta do is to remove the ones you added in this folder. Secondly, we have mods that already have a proper folder structure. A great example would be no HUD, no effects. After downloading and opening the file, you'll instantly see a folder named Oblivion Remastered. You can simply drag and drop the whole folder into your local files and there you have it. 
Next, we have mods that uses the .esp extension. A great example would be unleveled item rewards. Once you have that downloaded, locate your local files once more. Double click Oblivion Remastered, Content, Dev, UPV Data, and then Data. Here you'll see a bunch of files and other .esps. All you gotta do is simply drag and drop the mods.esp file into this folder. Then you need to find and open the plugins.txt. In here, all you gotta do is to copy the mods file name and paste it at the very bottom. Take note, it also needs to include the .exp extension at the end. That's basically it. And lastly, for reshade, there's an extra step you'll need to do. You'll first need to download the reshade program on the official website. Once you have that, run the program. Find Oblivion Remastered. Now, if you can't find Oblivion Remastered, all you need to do is click on Browse, at your Oblivion Remastered local files, click on Oblivion Remastered, Binaries, Windows 64, then double click the .exe file. Once that's done, click on Next, choose DirectX 10, then make sure to select all the effects. You can do this by clicking the Uncheck All, then click Check All. Hit Next and all the effects files will now be downloading. Now head back to your Oblivion Remastered local files, click on Oblivion Remastered, Binaries, then Windows 64. Now open the reshade you just downloaded and drop the file in here. No time to run Oblivion Remastered. And once you're in the main menu, you can simply open the reshade menu by pressing the home key. Now under home, you can click this drop down menu and choose the dot ina you placed from the mod. And there you have it. I hope this was useful to most of you and I hope you learned something today. Don't worry, I'll be updating this guide as soon as the mod managers are working for Oblivion Remastered. In the meantime, I hope you will enjoy your modding adventures. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more amazing content. Stay safe and happy modding!